Hi, my name is Chris Boyer, and this is a video response for my graduate work at Azusa Pacific University for PE 551. And this video response is for week three PE assessments, which we were assigned to go search around on a website called PE Central that has assessments for PE teachers. There on PE Central, I found uh, under self made assessments, uh, I found a basketball assessment and so the first thing that caught my attention about this basketball shooting assessment was that either a teacher could do it or a student and so for this activity you could have a piece of paper or use a poster board with a list of the student names as rows and then across the columns put the letters B E E F beef the suggested grade level for this was six to eight but I believe this could be used for really any grade level. I could use it for my six-year-old son if I wanted to, or you could use this for a 12th grade student because it's really neat how it's not if they score or not, but you could give them extra credit if they score. The column titles BEEF, B-E-E-F, stands for bend your knees, elbows under ball, eyes on target, and follow through. And so underneath, on the row with the student's name, you can check which ones they did or did not do. And so they get 100%, they do all four of those, and then if they make it, they get extra credit. I felt like this was a very practical shooting assessment that students can rate one another, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it removes some degree of subjectivity to shooting assessment because even as a coach, I could say when I'm assessing my students' shooting, Sometimes a student will be doing certain things a little bit different, but they're shooting really well. And so uh, this is just one of those things where you could say these are basics to learning the fundamentals of shooting. And I feel like this can be used in a lot of different ways for uh, different shooting methods with the overhand throw and water polo. So I felt like this was a similar type of uh, rubric or assessment that I could transition into uh, my sport teams as well as in PE. So that's why I found this one interesting. To answer the second question, uh, why I would choose a specific assessment and how I would use it with my students and athletes, I chose this assessment because number one, I like basketball and my son is playing it and my uh, classes, I have them playing it as well. I thought that in my next unit, I could potentially pay, play basketball. So I wanted to look into what assessments would be available for that. And I think this would be a really helpful assessment to be able to use if I were to do a PE unit, I could have this assessment and be able to accomplish it fairly easily and, and utilize it even as a peer-to-peer uh, -peer student assessment. So I felt like this was helpful and the shooting mechanics is just a fundamental thing in basketball. So I feel like knowing that that's a fundamental skill, having an assessment to go along with it would be very helpful. And I felt like as I shared already, that this type of assessment can transition into water polo as well or other skills within basketball, other skills within water polo. I could use a similar format coming up with a different acronym with swim stroke if I wanted to or in basketball and dribbling. And so I believe that this is very helpful and that we can use this type of assessment for individual skills when we're teaching team sports. And so as a coach, individual skills are very important to me, helping students be able to do those and having evaluations and assessment material for students is very good to have as a coach. When I rate my students and I give them evaluations uh, on my sports teams, I want them to be able to have something concrete that they can look at. And if I have assessment tools available to me to help them with shot mechanics, throwing mechanics, passing skills, things like that, and we can rate them, I think it would really help them to improve as a player and be able to have something to go on. Okay, in closing, I feel that this has been a really helpful website, and I'm eager to see what some of my other peers used as their assessments of interest and see if maybe they had something that could also help me with my teaching and coaching. So thanks for your time. Have a good day.